Hey there, if you're a new health coach who's trying to do it all for your clients, you'll wanna watch this video. I've got some really great tips that are gonna save you time and energy and will also help your clients be more successful at achieving their goals. So what do I mean by doing it all for your clients? Well, what I see happening is that new coaches tend to not really believe in the value that they can provide their clients just from pure coaching. So they try to add in a bunch of other things to make the client feel like they're getting their money's worth. This also boosts the coach's ego and makes them feel worthy to be paid for their services. So doing it all for your client might look like this. It might look like doing a bunch of research to prepare for your coaching sessions. It might look like sending a big long recap email after the session or giving your client gifts or giveaways, researching and coming up with natural protocols for your client's conditions or ailments. It might be giving a bunch of suggestions or recommendations during your actual session. It could be checking in with your client in between sessions and doing all the accountability for them. Maybe it's sending recipes, articles, and resources to your clients. And it also could be doing most of the talking during the session. So are any of you doing any of these things? Well, I want to say that I share this list with you from my own personal experience in the first few years of my coaching practice. I did all of these things and more. And when I began my practice, I was seeing clients in person. So in addition to all of those things I just listed, I'd also present the client with a customized binder at our first session. It had a cover page and dividers for each section for them to store their handouts. I gave them a journal for taking notes. And then at every session, I'd also give gifts like fresh produce samples, candles, tongue scrapers, caffeine-free teas, whole grain samples. And I usually had a parting gift at the end of our time together as well, like books, yoga mats, and gift certificates. I'd spend an hour preparing before each, each session making notes, researching protocols, printing off handouts and recipes and worksheets for each session. I would take copious notes during the session and then I'd type them up after, which could take up to an hour. And then during the coaching session, I wasn't actually coaching. I was giving recommendations, I was sharing my knowledge, I was trying to rescue and fix my clients with around their solutions and their health challenges. So does any of this sound familiar to you? So you may be wondering why this might not be a great approach. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because number one, it drained me both emotionally and financially. It was just way too much work. I was exhausted doing all of this. And I was only charging as a new coach a really low fee. So I wasn't really being compensated for all of the time I was putting into actually coaching each client. And then to top it all off, my clients weren't getting results. So all of this effort really wasn't paying off. It wasn't good for me or the client. And I knew I couldn't keep it up. Can you relate to any of this? Are you worried that this is gonna be what your coaching practice looks like? Well, that's for me when I decided to do some more training in behavioral change coaching to find out how I could really support my clients in a way that could help them truly make lasting changes. So during one of the programs that I attended, I had a mentor, Dr. Michael Arlowski, and he listened into one of my recorded coaching sessions and his feedback was, you're doing all the work. <laughs> And he didn't even know what I was doing before and after the session. So from then on, I began to show up differently in my coaching. And here are some things that I did, some of the shifts that I made. Number one, I shifted my mindset. I got out of the rescue, fix, and solve mode. I let go of being the authority and the expert. And I showed up more as an ally, a guide, and a partner. Number two, I stopped sending recap emails and I invited my clients to take their own notes and send me a recap email of what they were committing to as an action step after the session. Number three, in my new approach, there was really no reason to do a bunch of medical and nutrition research because that wasn't my job. Instead, I focused more on deepening my coaching skills like talking less and listening more and asking more powerful open-ended questions. Number four, I also developed a better coaching process, structure, and framework. 
So instead of showing up to each session ready to teach and ed educate my clients and give them gifts, it was more about setting the client up for success with self-exploration foundation sessions, understanding the stages of change, learning how to effectively lead a 60 minute real coaching session. It also became more about knowing and guiding my clients through the recycling process and understanding how to end with them in a mindful and thoughtful way. Number five, I really started to embrace and honor that the client is naturally creative, resourceful and whole, and they have the answers inside of them. I let my clients be the experts in their own lives, which was much better than me trying to know what's gonna work best for them. So I let go of the recommendations and the suggestions, and instead I helped empower my clients to take on that work for themselves and take responsibility for their own health and well being. And so, what were the results with this approach? Well, for me, I was definitely relieved. So much pressure was lifted. I didn't have to know it all or do it all anymore. I had more time. I enjoyed coaching more and I looked forward to my coaching sessions. And for my clients, they had much better results. They were more empowered and they were making lasting changes. I got great testimonials from them and many of my clients renewed and kept coming back to work with me. It was a win-win all around. So if you are interested in letting go of doing it all for your clients and having a much more reasonable workload, protecting your energy and getting better client results, then you might be interested in my Health Coaching Essentials self-study course where I teach the model that I shared here today. In the course, I guide you step by step from that first discovery call to your final call and everything in between. And I have a special summer offer. Um, uh, now until Thursday, July 28th, I am offering a $100 discount on the course. You can check out the link in the description below and please post any questions that you have. I would love to answer them for you. Thanks so much. Take good care. Bye for now.